Welcome back, everybody. We like to talk about all of the great things that are happening around central Iowa. And with us this morning is Corey Watson. How'd you like that intro I gave you earlier today? <laughs> We're going to do better this time. Uh, with the Iowa Amputee Golf Association, you are the board president of that. Welcome this morning. Thank and, you. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with the Iowa Amputee Golf Association, explain kind of what that organization is and what that's all about. Absolutely. Uh, and my privilege to be here today. Thank you for having me. Um, this is a story I never get tired of telling. Uh, 28 years this organization has been in existence. And it was founded with a group of guys and gals that just decided one day that they were going to go out because of their common bond and play golf together. And obviously it's evolved um, tremendously over the last 28 years. Um, Iowa is unique in that um, we have that long of an existence, but now other states also have, have started to come to the table with their own organizations and we actually even have a national platform now that amputees can compete on or can play on uh, throughout the United States. Okay, and then now are, are you, do you have, is your membership kind of growing and more people uh, kind of participating? Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, this year I'm proud to say that we have three new amputees that have joined the group. Last year, um, it's, it's not always about the numbers. What's, you, what's neat about Iowa's group is that we usually have about eight or nine states okay. that are represented. So we have people that travel in as far as Texas to come join us, and they're very consistent in that. They're very um, loyal to the, to the cause. Um, this year, I've kind of taken a different stance with trying to get our word out there. I'm trying to extend our reach throughout the different communities in Iowa. Um, so I hope this rings true to somebody that's watching this morning that says, you know, I know somebody that might be able to benefit from that. Um, even if they're not a golfer. So I, I need to stress that, that um, we have people that are brand new golfers. We have people that have golfed um, all their lives. We've got people in the middle. It doesn't matter where you're from, what gender, what score you're going to shoot. It's just about getting out there with, uh, you know, people like yourself that have gone through scenarios in their life where they could, uh, um, they could use some assistance along the way, both mental, physical, et cetera. Sure. And talk about maybe um, some of the stories, because you have had the, you know, been going on for so long, mm -hmm. just and what it has meant for some of the people that are a part of this. Well, what's neat is every year we um, tend to recognize folks that have been there since day one. And I really have to pause and reflect on that because uh, one, I haven't been involved that long. Um, and I get excited about this every year. It's one of the highlights of my year because of what we're capable of, of an organization and just seeing what it does to people when we come together. It, it is truly a family. So I have to call that out that we've had people that are still there uh, we're there day one that are still there today, and they make a big difference. So um, I would like to recognize them, and, and we look forward to seeing them in a couple of weeks. On the other hand, um, we've got people on the board that, um, you know, it's not their day job. So they've got other things going on, but mm -hmm. they graciously volunteer their time. They graciously get out in the community. They try to spread the word, try to spread our cause. And it's something that, you know, they're passionate about to make sure that, again, we're growing our organization to be able to help people. Okay. And it focuses on, you know, golf, of course. And we have a big event that we're going to be talking about here in just a second that's coming up in July. But talk, are there other things that you guys do throughout the year, too, to kind of keep everybody connected? Well, our event's the big one. And we do meet as a board throughout the year, as you can imagine. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up our scholarship fund. So over the last... Um, you know, 20 years or so, we've given out, I think, somewhere in the ballpark of 70 some scholarships to, wow. with a totality of over $50,000. And those scholarships go to either amputees or family of amputees okay. that are looking to extend their education. We obviously go through a vetting process on those scholarship applications. Um, this year's scholarship application um, is closed, and we're getting ready to announce who those scholarship winners will be, and we'll uh, award those scholarship funds um, to. Uh, the recipients at our banquet this okay. year. Okay. Uh, but every year we're known for giving out the money to you know, people that are wanting to extend their education. Oh, that's fabulous. Okay, let's, let's zero in here on the uh, event itself, uh, yep. the tournament that's coming up uh, July 12th, 13th, and 14th, correct? Right. Um, just kind of explain what that, it's, it's for all skill levels and... Uh, it, it is, so let me start by um, recognizing the general public and um, some of our major sponsors. Um, we have um, over 70 sponsors um, for this organization, which is, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, nobody ever says no. And, and to me, that is just amazing. Um, it grows every year. Everybody's always more than willing to offer in this community. Um, so thank you um, to all of um, our sponsors that may be watching this morning. Uh, Friday starts out as a uh, scramble tournament where we invite the public out to play with us. Okay. Uh, what's really unique and cool about this is that um, we get people from all over to come in and travel. It's a four-person best shot. Uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, it's a good problem to have. We just sold out again for the second time 
in two years. Wow. So the, the attendance is growing, the awareness is growing, sponsorships are growing. Um, it's, you know, we're kind of, we need a bigger boat almost. It's kind of a good problem to have. So again, to have. thank you to everybody for your support. Um, come Saturday and Sunday, we get really dialed into the mission. Um, so in the vision of the organization. So Saturday and Sunday, we have a two day tournament. So 18 holes each day. It doesn't matter your skill level. Um, it doesn't matter, uh, again, where you're from, gender, et cetera. Um, we will pair you with whoever you'd like to be paired with. Um, and we go out and we play two days of golf. Um, the weather usually is good. Very um, nice. And we enjoy the time together. Okay. And it's, it's not so much always about the golf as much as time together and, and um, being able to play off of each other and share experiences and, and just uh, get around a great group of people. And where is this going to be happening? So at? this, well, every year, um, well, for the most part, has always been held at Willow Creek. And a special shout out to Dan and his group down there um, at Willow Creek here in Des Moines. They do a fantastic job and are very supportive of our group. Um, so it'll be there for the three days this year in July. Okay. How? And you're still, they can still get registered all the way up to about a week out from the tournament? Correct. And, and, and if, again, for the viewers, please, um, if you know of anybody, um, what I ask is put them in touch with me. If there's any okay. hesitation, um, any timidness about getting involved, um, I'm a phone call away. Um, that's what I like to do in terms of my reach and being able to put myself out there to help others. Um, that's what's important to me. Um, but we're hoping for a few more people. My goal is five new amputees. We've got three. I, I need your help okay. along the way. And so. it's iowaamputeegolf.com. That's the best place for people to go That's to correct. get registered or find out more information. That's correct. Yep. One Stop Shop is a sponsor. If, if you're watching saying, I'd like to get involved, you can go do that on the website. Point and click. Be done. If you've got a neighbor or somebody that you go to church with or somebody that you know that um, you're thinking of right now, that would be a spot you can push them for information. And then, of course, my information's on there for a point of contact. Okay. Talk about some of the highlights. This has been going on for so many years, just highlights of the event itself and some of the people that have been involved, some of the golfers. Yeah. So, um, you know, along the way, again, we have a real consistent um, group of people, which is neat. I, I get to say hello to some of my friends from as far away as Dallas, Texas. Um, Viet Win is my rival, if you will, um, when we come to compete together. And that's always neat to look forward to a little bit of uh, competition. Um, and we've got folks from, again, throughout the country that come in consistently and, and see us. Um, we put on a heck of a weekend. Um, hy V is one of our sponsors and they graciously offer some food for us on Friday for just a social event after the, the public tournament is over. Uh, we have a banquet on Saturday evening where we recognize um, the golfers, we recognize the attendants, we recognize the scholarship winners. Um, we have major donors like um, American Prosthetics here in Des Moines that help us uh, put that on. Um, we have door prizes. It's, it's just a great event. Um, social, we see family, kids, um, relatives. Um, it's just a really good showing. So, but all the golfers are amputees, correct? Or does some of their family and friends, do they get involved in some of the play yeah, as so well? Again, again, Friday is the scramble event, 144 players sold out. That's a total mix. That's so everybody. it's friends, it's everybody. You know, last year we had um, a few people come in from, um, you know, Tim Dwight from the, uh, I always surely recognize that name from the Iowa Hawkeyes. He came in and played with us, which was a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a mix of people on Friday, then come Saturday and Sunday. It's an actual tournament. Um, again, um, we don't pay a ton of attention to scoring unless that's for you, but it, it's solely amputees on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And what's neat about that is we've actually had people from the public come out and watch us, walk around and watch us play. And, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, but if, if you're interested in just riding along with me, uh, or somebody on the course just to see what it's about, um, I'd encourage you to reach out. Okay, very nice. Because you said sometimes there's some hesitation to get involved in. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think naturally. I naturally, I think golf's a hard sport, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I know it's, boy, I have my days, um, you know, and, and uh, because of that, we're really putting two challenging things together. Um, having uh, a disability or, you know, have living life um, with limb loss, Challenge. which mm -hmm. is our, you know, our scope of our, our group, and then putting together probably one of the hardest sports I've ever played, golf. So, yeah, I would say there's probably some hesitation or timidness. And I guess that's where I, again, would extend the reach, that I'm yeah. here to, to help you through that. It'll be the best decision you ever made. Um, when I came out five, six years ago, um, within hours, I knew I wanted to be uh, a bigger part than just a participant. 
and uh, I'm really proud of what this group's done over the last five to six yeah, years. Yeah, and I can I can tell the, the gratitude you have for all of the supporters and everybody that does get involved with the event. So one more time, just remind everybody, um, uh, Iowa Amputee Golf Association, just as an organization overall, and the big tournament that you guys uh, have coming up in July, where they can go to get more information. Yeah, so Iowa Amputee Golf Association, 28 years in the running, and we're gonna be around a lot longer, but we need your help. Uh, and we wanna, again, make sure that we're extending our reach to the public across the state of Iowa. And uh, I hope that because of this, um, I can meet more individuals that we can help and be part of our group. So. Well, good luck. It's I love the, everything you're doing with the organization Thank and you. all the people involved. And uh, you know, I hope you have a beautiful weekend yeah. Thank <laughs> in you July. IowaAmputeeGolf.com to find out more information or to get uh, registered for the event itself. Thank you for coming in this morning. Stay Thank tuned. You.